Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to yet another episode of the Ultimate First Encounter. This is Sirius Alex, and I want to say sorry for such big gaps between videos. But lately, I have I had some issues and things to work out in my personal life, so I am very sorry. I hope I can keep better schedule in the future. So let's begin with this episode and. The Grand Obelisk, shall we? Indeed! Do watch out! This level will greet you with a lot of yellow jacket guys! Now, your objective is to go through that door, but as well I would guess it, the door is locked. And what do you do to unlock it? Well, it's similar to the Tower of Babel. You go around the obelisk to unlock the door. In actuality, this level was the... well... The first one before the Tower of Babel. On the basis of this level, the devs have had, create, had to create the Tower of Babel in the first place. So, it's not too unfamiliar. The only difference is that... Well, you start closer to the tower anyway, and it's Egyptian themed. No, not this gun! Okay, you're getting on my nerves. Again, wrong gun! All right, all right, all right. Youch! Man, I hate these yellow jacket guys. But they do amp up the difficulty in this regard. Youch! Where? Well, the situation is getting dangerously low on health. Because of me being a, well, scatterbrain and don't watch where I'm going. So I better look for health somewhere. Oh boy. How do I handle this? Well, I'm gonna try it with the sniper rifle. Oh, I see a health there. And there's a ball. Do 
That should be a bit better. Oh no, you don't. Thankfully, there's enough kill scatter around. Gonna get this armor and those supplies over there. And these pills, because pills stacked over the health. When the healths fall, of course. Oh, be careful, if I haven't said it, of the Reptiloid Berserkers. Be are, but because you're gonna see some. Oh, I see a cubby there. Better take him out before I get to that part. It's a good idea to... Well, peek and take out whatever things you can before you enter the place. So you, ha you can have an easier time. So I'm gonna be standing here doing this. Unless they make me. Mm, do I want to do that? Actually, no. There you go, five presents for Euro, because I'm generous like that. Of course, it's a Reptiloid Berserker. Four rockets should be, be handled for you nicely. Oh, and birds! And of course, it's so pitch black... Uh, around this obelisk that I can't see them at all. Oh! Little bull stuck, hey? Any more birds? I don't see. But all I see is a bull. No, you don't. What are you looking at? Take a picture, why don't you? Hmm. Have I used any laser gun? No, I haven't. Uh. Why do I hear bowls for some inexplicable reason? Oh! Hiya! Maybe there's one stuck up there. I'm gonna grab some rockets. It's a good idea to get this down. When I have a chance. Because I am not doing a round two. I don't think there is, but... Just in case. Oh, oh, it's on from the next yard. Hello, boys! I'm sure you're not happy to see me. Oh, hiya!
this section is gonna pretty be pretty long one, so buckle up. It's gonna be a bit of a doozy, as one would say. Oh, you had to do it to me, didn't you? Oh, he, oh, I'm equipping the laser gun. Indeed. Get lost, you stinking golem. Uh, honestly, ladies, I said no. Take a hint. I like starry skies, but those harpies are a bit harder to see. Having three shotguns is kind of cool, but not when where they are in the same slot. And actually, I admire the developers for making Serious Sam 4 have three shotguns, but they have a separate slots. The usual shotguns are together in one place, but the auto shotgun isn't. And I missed. How the hell did I miss such a slow target? Oh, they ricochet on the pig! Didn't know that I can do that. Actually, I knew. I didn't expect to hit the pig, though. But there we are. Anything else? I'm gonna go quickly resupply from around here. Any other cubby? I don't see anyone. Yet, the battle music is still playing. Oh. And before I forget... I'm gonna take this. Honestly, must be something stuck. Probably that's the only reason. Is it a scorpion? Is it a what? Oh, I see it now. There we go. Is there anyone here? Oh, and before you do anything else... No, that's not it. You see this switch? It moves the entire thing. And there is a secret compartment containing the super shotgun, two stacks of cannonballs, bullets and armor. Uh, I have already a shotgun, I don't have to maneuver 
over it. Since there are some instances where, uh, where I don't take the super shotgun. Just because it messes up the lineup of shotguns and I don't like that. This is gonna be quite long section. Come on, Bone Jingles, I don't have all day. Now, be very careful because these minor biomechs are green. And those lasers, well, they are quite more fast traveling than the usual blue ones. There we go. And where are the other cubbies? I can hear a robot. Ouch! Shouldn't that be all the robots? Oh, we have skeletons too. Yoo-hoo! That's a big stack of supplies. But your objective is in these spaces here. And each time you enter one, there's gonna be enemy spawns. Like so. I don't know, there might be a big big robot too. So keep an ear out, as they say. Oh, yep, there's big ones too. That should take care of them. And there we go. I have enough shells. Flippy flip. And on to the next part. I knew it. It was only a matter of time. Usually, in the original variant of, of the final level of the DLC, you are equipped only with the Tommy Gun, the Rocket Launcher, the Shotguns, the Chainsaw, and yeah, that's your arsenal. Of course, this is the ultimate version where you don't have such things. Hmm... I do need grenades, so I'm taking those and going to the other two sections to open the door. And enemy spawns, a, flip, a switch flipped, another big one. Where are you going? Oh, you're going that way. Okay, I'm gonna take care of the other mooks then, before I take you out. Wow, tw you twiddle your way around, and you come over here. Hmm. 
now. One last switch to flip. Oh, they cancel each other out. That's a nice n thing to know. Didn't try to fight one of those things with my own laser. That's certainly think a thing to consider. Which makes those biomechs quite dangerous at times. That door should be open now. And... Yep, it is. More supplies and the thingy I need. Oh boy. More golems. That should be enough out of you. Open up. And have a potato. Oh boy. Uh, um, um. Sheesh. Will you stop moving around? Oh, I've... Yeah, I forgot to mention the skeletal golems ain't just one. There are three. I missed. Now I didn't. Oh, come on! That's one very whacked up hitbox for a, such a big creature. Shall I go for those supplies? No, I won't. Anyone else? It seems not, I think. Was I supposed to pick up that pill? I'm gonna just go back and check. Anyone else at all? I don't see anyone, so I'm gonna continue. Wow. Fight must be big. If they're offering me such supplies. But I'm gonna... Hmm, I'm gonna leave them for now. Okay. Five clears at a time. Oh. A nice tactic would be to keep in that corridor facing that exit when you're inside. When it gets too tough to handle. Because it's gonna get pretty crowded real quick. And if you're playing this on serious difficulty, it's kinda necessary tactic. Because you're not gonna survive all that onslaught. 
to be perfectly honest, I don't know how your how our players gonna survive this single player on serious difficulty, this campaign in particular. Simply because the dunes level is already too much to handle. I tried it myself, and I died quite a lot of times. Oh, it's kamikazes now! Honestly, it might be a good idea to take these now. Oh boy. Please die faster! Oh, yeah. And now comes the beheaded bomb carriers. So, why? Because the game is kind of dick. Kind of a kind of a dick. Yeah. That's why you might need to reconsider going in that little slot. In that little tiny space. So you don't get attacked by that. And those. And, of course, a Highlander in all that jazz. And you might want to get the secret cannon to handle all of that. Actually, what am I doing? I have a cannon with 12 cannonballs in it. Do I have enough rockets? No, I do not. Will I be able to hit that huge dude? Oh, I did! Just barely! In his feet! Oh, there he goes! Oh, don't tell me you fell down too! No, he's just stuck right there, just stuck right there. Oh yeah! Equip the skates, why don't ya? I don't know why, but sometimes the bulls and the clears have that ability to skate around you like that. And it's quite annoying, not to say the least. Okay. Anyone else? Oh, just two dummies there. Whoop. Honestly, I miss these pigs, the zo actually the Zumba Ooze. Their replacements, the Scrapjacks, yeah, I, they are more dangerous, but I'm kind of nostalgic for those pigs. Oh. 
Yeah, nice effort, Kripke. I'm gonna get that armor. And I continue on that side of the big tower. Nearly out of bullets, but hey, I suppose I should be fine. Somehow. Says he when he... When he sees several green minor biomax. Why am I using grenade launcher instead of the rocket launcher on the green guys? Simply because those lasers can shut down my rockets. That's why. Maybe I should have stayed longer out in the next in the backyard, but hey. Is it a good idea? Oh boy. No, it wasn't a good idea. Oh, screw it. One, two, three, four, I think it was it. Five for good measure. What makes the game hard in the ultimate first encounter is the Berserker Reptiloids. Simply because their projectiles, as you already know from previous episodes, are harder to avoid. Which makes them especially annoying to deal with. I'm not having uh, this, thank you very much. Oh, in the back too! Well, it's just... It's just... I'm used to it at this point. All of the games does, does this on very regular occasions. Do remember that the bomb carriers, the kamikazes in the black shirts, are quite more durable than the regular kamikazes. Time to get to the main event, I would say. I just need you to stand real still for a second or two. I really hate to miss uh, the cannonballs. Opa! Toro! What to take you out with, since you move that much? Always love prediction shots. It feels so satisfying when you hit one, and so disappointing when you miss! But hey, it's one of the joys of life. 
when you are playing, of course. Two potatoes for you. Hmm. I am not fooling around with you. Especially when you're going around that pillar. I didn't see you. But now I do, and you're dead. <sighs> I'm gonna get some of the supplies in the corner. Be careful when you're approaching on the entrance. There are gonna spawn a lot of guards. Most of them real, the real annoying ones. I believe there was a one a clear golem reptiloid, I think, and major biomax. Yep, and those, of course. But first things first, I'm gonna take care of that big douchebag. Since I hate them pretty very much. Please die. Ah, uh, I feel better already. And since after this level, I'm gonna lose all the ammo. Better make a good use of it. Especially with the secret weapons. I'd say it's, I'd say it's about time to send that dude some far rockets. Prediction shot! One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Some leftovers that are quickly defeated. Hmm. I don't trust pills. And this smells like there is some gonna be a mini fight here. Yep, because the door isn't opening anyway. I believe... Uh, uh, also, with the clears, there are gonna be... Two pigs and some beheaded troops from the top. Also, this level has a boss fight. And the, your regular weapons aren't gonna do you any good, simply because the boss is kinda... 
Fat-skinned, as I would put it. Anyone else? I'm gonna f get that bill and see what happens. Uh, I don't see exactly anything happening. Must be just me. Oh, now you show up! There are the two pigs I was talking for! Glad all of that is settled. Whoa! And I was quickly wrong. Where are you going? I'm right here. And into the obelisk we go. You might want to save for this part. Is there anyone here? I hear a clear rumbling. And anyway. I am quickly saving. And... Uh... Yeah, it's just a knum. But he's also kind of immune to damage. And unlike the regular clums, he curls three fireballs. Ow! Those pillars will block some of the fireball damage, but they are destructible. Youch! No. Oh, yeah, and you have those two to activate on the rooftops. On the roof, I mean. But you must get them to this. Come on, come on, come on. No. Thankfully, the laser has a quite big hitbox. Since the guns aren't any useful. Flippity flop. Be more ridiculous. No, you don't. Did I flip all the switches? No, I'll have one left. Come on! I mean, he takes some damage, but it's not a whole lot. The pistols don't do well a thing to him. As demonstrated, no, don't punch me. Might be able to do it if he stops punching me? If he just scrolls fireballs, you're fine. But if he attempts to punch you, well, that's a whole different story. 
That should be all of them. Come on, boy! And there you go! That's the level, the Grand Obelisk. This was the... I don't know what episode anymore. I'm gonna see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'm gonna see you in the next one.